Let the music begin. The South by Southwest Music Festival kicked off last night with a whole host of musicians in town. About 2,000 official performers and bands will play more than 200 venues. Meantime, there's a lot of pressure today for 18 startup companies. They are competing for the top spot at the South by Southwest Accelerator. We have built a product that is now in public beta in only a few states and is already ready. The contest is designed to promote a new company with the best idea and the best business plan. Uh, the companies who have participated in this South by Southwest Accelerator event over the first five years have actually um, received almost a half a billion dollars in funding as a whole and up to about 10 percent worth of how those companies have been acquired. This is the fifth year of South by Southwest Accelerator. Organizers say the most well-known company to compete in the event is Siri, the voice-activated technology used on iPhones. Austin-based gaming companies are credited with creating thousands of jobs, but keeping those companies up and running has proven to be a real challenge out there. This year alone, three major companies and more than 1,000 jobs in the gaming industry have left town. Developers at South by Southwest Interactive say the loss of those companies is due in part to a shift in mobile gaming. Some of the solutions discussed this week include giving more incentives for business incubators and some local startups. <coughs> You have to have a substantial investment up front. You have to maintain that investment all the way through. But then in the end, the likelihood of hitting a successful game is maybe nothing better than a flip of a coin. Austin is the third largest gaming city in the country. It's estimated the gaming industry generated about $71 million for the city of Austin last year alone.